The aerospace field is wide or filled with various different economic prediction and identification of natural disasters and risks in which satellites play a crucial role. In this framework, GAM-100 solid fuel satellite carrier rocket was successfully launched in the first stage. GAM-100 satellite carrier can place satellites weighing 80 kg in an orbit of 500 km from the Earth with three stages of solid fuel. In the summer of last year, the first stage of the GAM-100 satellite carrier successfully passed its ground test and now it is successfully passed its flight test. Now, each satellite of the Aerospace Organization of the Ministry of Information and Communications Technology of Iran is supposed to be put into orbit with a three-stage GAM-100 satellite. Chief Commander of the IRGC Aerospace Force Brigadier General Amir Ali Haji Zade Islami said, "As a as bar." From the launcher to the satellite, everything was designed and built by Iranian scientists, and success has been achieved and will continue under the shadow of sanctions. Satellite carriers play a key role in the development of aerospace because a satellite will not be placed in the Earth orbit unless a precise and professional launch is performed. Paying attention to the construction of large satellite carriers with the capability of solid fuel engines can facilitate Iran's progress in the aerospace field. Iran's latest space engine with the ability to generate 68 tons of thrust and solid fuel called Rofe is an important success in the construction of satellite carriers with more assurance. The most important features of Rafa engine is the very light composite body and its thrust vector control system. Solid field launchers can place heavier satellites into higher orbits. Achieving the Rafa solid field engine is an important turning point in launchers and it is possible to increase Iran's space launches by relying on its indigenous achievements. The AM-100 solid fuel satellite carrier is a three-stage launcher. The engine of its first stage is the Rafa engine. Deputy Chairman of National Security and Foreign Policy Commission of the Islamic Consultative Assembly of Iran, Abbas Muqtadai, told Iran Press, Iran is not only a player in the field of aerospace and its related issues, but also has done important works in nanotechnology and biological technologies. Iran is one of the few countries in the world in achieving various fields of knowledge and technology by using its domestic capabilities. Each satellite has the function of identification, measurement, telecommunication, research, information, etc. and each one will meet the important needs of Iran in their respective fields and can improve the security component in all sectors as well as the national authority. The success in building a missile had regional and extra-regional repercussion at a time when Iran is under severe sanctions. Some TV channels in the Arab world, including Al Akhbariya, broadcasted AM-100 satellite carrier. Al Akhbariya announced that America and Israel had expressed concern about Iran's achievements. Some Israeli TV channels have also covered the launching of the AM-100 satellite carrier. Iran's foreign ministry spokesman Nasser Kanani noted in his Twitter account that successful launch of the GAM-100 satellite carrier is another demonstration of the national authority and ability of Iran's young scientists to conquer the peaks of science and new technologies in the shadow of sanctions and maximum pressure.